Hey everyone! Today we'll be making some vanilla buttercream macarons, which we will then be dressing up for Halloween as little muggies. I'll be showing you how to make the macaron shells, and then some vanilla buttercream to fill the macarons, as well as the royal icing that we're going to then use to decorate the macarons. So if you're also ready for some Halloween spirit, give this video a thumbs up and let's get started! First, we're going to make the macaron shells. To start, you'll need to sip some almond flour along with the icing sugar. Once you're done sifting, set it aside and to a separate bowl add the egg whites. Whip them with a hand mixer or in your stand mixer until they're foamy. At this point, you can also add in the cream of tartar as well as the sugar. Continue to beat the meringue just until it forms stiff peaks. Then add the almond flour and icing sugar mixture to the meringue. Continue to fold that in until it's all incorporated and the batter flows like a ribbon. Next, transfer the mixture to a piping bag with a piping tip, and then line a baking sheet with a silicone mat or parchment paper. I like to use the silicone mat with the template already drawn. Hold the piping bag upright as you pipe the shells onto the baking sheet. Once you're done piping the macaron shells, tap the baking sheet onto the table to remove large air bubbles, and then use a toothpick or a cookie stripe for the smaller bubbles. Then let the macarons rest for at least 30 minutes and then bake them in the oven for 12 to 13 minutes. Once the macaron shells are done baking, let them cool on the cookie sheet and then match shells that are the same sizes so you can make your macaron cookies. Next, we're going to be making a vanilla buttercream to fill the macarons. You'll need butter, some icing sugar, and vanilla extract. In a small bowl, Beat the butter until it's light and fluffy. Then add in your icing sugar as well as the vanilla extract and mix it all together until it's smooth and fluffy. Then transfer the buttercream to a piping bag so it's easier to fill your macarons. Then we're going to make some royal icing that we're going to use to decorate the macarons. You'll need meringue powder, some icing sugar, a little water, and black gel food coloring. To a bowl, add the icing sugar, meringue powder, as well as two tablespoons of water. For these mummy macarons, you want the icing to be a thick consistency so it's easier to decorate. You can fix the royal icing with some icing sugar if it's too runny or some water if it's too thick. Once the royal icing is mixed together, separate about a quarter cup of it so that you can color it black for the eyes for the mummies. Once you're happy with the colors, transfer the white and black royal icing to separate piping pegs, and then we can assemble the macarons. First, we're going to fill the macarons with the vanilla buttercream that we made. About a teaspoon onto half the macaron shelves. Then, close up the macarons, and then we're going to get ready to decorate them. First, with the white royal icing, dot two eyes on each macaron. Next, use the black royal icing to dot the pupils on the mummy eyes. You can use a toothpick or a cookie scribe to help settle the icing. Thank you. 
And then finally, with the white royal icing, draw zigzag lines all over the macaron. You might want to go over it a couple times to get the right look. Once you're done decorating, let the royal icing settle for at least two to three hours until it's firm to the touch. And finally, it's time to enjoy these macaron mummies as a cute and spooky Halloween treat. Happy Halloween! Thank you so much for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and comment and subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos. See you next week!